Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steve the bartender. Big shout out to the team from Patron for sending me these bottles so I can talk about Tequila 101. Today I want to give you a bit of an overview of tequila, its history, and the versatility in classic cocktails. So what is tequila? Tequila is distilled spirit from the blue agave plant made in the region of tequila, which consists of five states. But the majority of the tequila is actually made in Jalisco, one of the states. Regulation states that tequila must be made of over 51% blue agave, but all the premium quality tequilas are made from 100% blue agave. The agave plant takes at least six years to reach maturity. The heart of the plant, known as the pina, is then harvested, roasted, and mashed, and the resulting juice from that mashing is then fermented and distilled at least twice. The tequila can then be aged in a barrel, and then Mexican regulation then stipulates that it has to be bottled at between 35 and 55%. Generally, tequila can be aged in X bourbon barrels, and this leads to four main categories. First, you have a silver or a blanco tequila, which is aged from zero to two months. A reposado, or a rested tequila, which is rested for between two and 12 months, and has a golden color. And then you have an anejo, or an aged tequila, which is aged for between one and three years, and has an amber color. And then you have an extra anejo, which is aged for three years or more and has a dark brown color. Tequila, unlike whiskey, doesn't require a longer aging process. This means that tequila retains its agave flavor profile and doesn't become over oaked. Agave spirits have been made in Mexico for more than 500 years. But in the late 19th century, in the lowlands of Jalisco, things began to change. The mezcaleros in and around the town of tequila started to favor the blue agave plant for fermentation and distillation. Around the same time, they discovered that using indirect steam in above ground ovens gave the spirit a cleaner flavor in comparison to a traditional earthen pit oven that lent the spirit a smokier flavor. There are over 1300 brands of tequila today produced by 150 distilleries, but there are only 15 distilleries that produce just the one brand. And Patron is one of those brands. At Hacienda Patron, the pina is hand chopped roasted in a small oven, and then crushed with a two-ton stone to hone a wheel. This is one of the most labor-intensive processes in making tequila. So these are premium tequilas that lend themselves to sipping on ice or mixing in cocktails. So for a silver or a blanco tequila, I recommend using in a margarita, reposado in a paloma, and a nejo, using it as a replacement for whiskey in classic cocktails such as the Old Fashioned and the Manhattan. Make sure you stick around for a little bit longer because I'm gonna do a tasting of each of these tequilas before making an Old Fashioned and a Manhattan with the Anejo tequila. First up, I've got Patron Silver. Premium corks from Portugal. So it's fruity and citrusy on the nose. Quite sweet and smooth. It's got a bit of a peppery finish to it. So when tasting spirits straight, I like to use a Glen Kahn glass or a flute such as this, which leads the aromas straight to your nose. Next up is the Patron Reposado. Love this. So you start to see some of the oak influence come through. You get those oaky notes on the nose with maybe a touch of vanilla. Yeah, oaky, vanilla, a little bit of honey. Yeah. And the third tequila in the lineup is the Patron Anejo. Now we're starting to see more of the influence from the maturation process and you're getting more, um, a lot more oaky flavors, some raisin-like characteristics. Oaky, raisins, honey, maybe a little bit of a smoky finish. Because of these characteristics, I think this works very well as a substitute for whiskey in classic cocktails. Hence why I'm making an old-fashioned in a Manhattan. So first, the tequila old-fashioned using Tron Anejo. 
60 mil of tequila. Five mil, one bar spoon of simple syrup. Of course, if you prefer, you can use agave syrup. Completely up to you. One dash of Angostura bitters. One dash of Regan's orange bitters. And a large ice cube. And I'm garnishing with an orange twist. They have a tequila old fashioned. Cheers. I recently started using tequila in spirit forward cocktails and I'm really liking it. I thoroughly enjoy this one. It really highlights the Anejo tequila with the notes of oak, raisins, honey, I do get a lot of that, that sweet honey kind of note to it. Tequila is a great substitute for a whiskey in an old fashioned. Next, I'm gonna treat myself to a Manhattan. Next cocktail, the Tequila Manhattan. Really simple recipe. 60 mil, two ounces of Anejo Patron Tequila. 30 mil, one ounce of Carpaño Antica Sweet Vermouth. And your choice of bitters, I think the Jocolado Mole bitters will go very well with this. Two large dashes. So bitter cacao flavors to this one. And stir for 30 seconds until you've reached your desired dilution. Then it's strained into a chilled coupe. And garnish with a brandy cherry. And there you have a tequila Manhattan. Cheers. That's a delicious variant of the classic Manhattan but I feel the sweet vermouth subdues or dilutes the agave flavor a little bit too much. I much prefer the old fashioned that highlights the characteristics of a, an Anejo tequila. Still delicious, still very tasty nonetheless, but old fashioned is my pick. What is your go-to tequila cocktail? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.